Hey guys, what's up? It is Anna Louise and welcome back to another video. You know what? That looks ugly in the background, so I'm going to go fix it. One second. Okay, so I believe that kind of fixed it, but anyways, welcome to today's video. I am so excited for today's video. This is one that I've wanted to film, or I guess I should say I've been excited to film for quite a while now, and that is my saltwater fish tank haul. So you guys, if you didn't know and didn't see the video, yes, I am starting my own saltwater fish tank. If you didn't see that video, I will link it up here above, but I am starting one and I'm so excited for it. I've loved saltwater tanks for ever since I was a little bitty girl. So to be able to have one as an adult with my husband, like my mom did with my father, it's just really, really special. And obviously I have to get supplies, so that's what I've been doing. And I figured that I would show them to you guys today. So if you are interested in seeing what I got for my saltwater fish tank haul off of Amazon, mind you, then make sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave and hit that bell notification so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And with that being said, let's hop right on in. All right, you guys, so I do have a few things to show you for this haul. These are all from Amazon, and yeah, obviously, I don't know how they perform. I did choose the brands over, you know, what had good reviews and everything, but obviously, I haven't tested these out for myself, but we're going to go ahead and start with this by Coral Life. It's the Deep Six Hydrometer, Caribbean Certified, Accurate Plus or accurate to plus 0.001, whatever that means. And it says a new design, improved calibration. So this right here is the first thing. So like I said, this is a hydrometer. And basically what you need a hydrometer for is to, you put it with like water in it and fill it up and then you make sure that like the salt balance is essentially right in your tank. It's a really good aid to have to make sure you know that everything is if as if if you need it. So, so basically it's feature says easy to read and accurate to plus slash minus 0 0.001 specific gravity units. Water is gently diverted to bottom to avoid excess bubbles. Designed to give temperature corrected readings in warm water aquariums. And then it says direction submerge hydrometer approximately six inches below water surface until water reached the fill level line. Remove a high hydrometer and place on a level surface. Air bubbles adhering to the pointer will result in inaccurate high readings. Gently tap hydrometer to dislodge any air bubbles. Read specific gravity on inside scale and salinity in parts per thousand on outside scale and then rinse with fresh water after every use. So, and then it does have a little note that says before using the hydrometer for the first time, fill the hydrometer with salty water and allow it to sit for 24 hours to season the needle. So that's what we have with this one. And that's the first thing I have for my haul. I realize now that, see, I've been trying to hide that and you know what? I guess there's just no moving it. Okay, but we're gonna go for the next thing now. Now this next thing is something that's so important to have in an aquarium or any aquarium for that matter, whether it's salt water or fresh water, and that you guys is a heater. So this one right here is by Via Aqua or Via Aqua. It's a quartz heater. It is a 200 watts for up to 50 gallons. So the saltwater fish tank that I have will be like a nano 36 gallon. So from the ones that I looked at on Amazon's reviews and I looked at all the different wattages, it, I thought that 200 wattage or watts, I mean, would be the best one to have. And this one had really good reviews. And by the way, if any of you guys like once this gets set up and we get rocking and rolling with the tank, if you guys like want to know how these things worked out, I'll be happy to tell you because obviously this can be used in, you know, not a saltwater aquarium. It can be used in any kind of aquarium technically. So, so I will be happy to tell you, but I like this one because it is adjustable at the top as well. If you can kind of see here on the packaging and that's just going to allow you to be able to adjust the temperature to make sure that it is accurate. So, so I really like this one a lot. And yeah, that is a, another thing that I got. All right. And next, the thing that I got comes in this little white box here. I'm going to go ahead and pull her on out for you. It just doesn't tell you what it is on the outside. So I'm just going to show you and explain. Okay. I got this, <laughs> this little mababa right here. See, and then you just plug it up and then there's this thing in there. Oh yeah. This is what like 
suctions on the tank. You may be asking, Anna, what is this? Well, I'll tell you. So, what this is, is this is a water circulator. So, you definitely should have a water circulator in a salt water tank. I've read many things about it. It's just good to help, like, regulate and have water flow in your tank. It kind of mimics the way the ocean is because these are saltwater fish. And so, it kind of, you know, mimics the flow, the flow of the ocean. And that's why I thought it would be a really good thing to have. Whether it's really 100% necessary or not because you do have a filter that's gonna like have a flow you know I don't know but I do think that it's good and I definitely wanted to have one just to be extra safe because I really want my fish to be happy and healthy and I figured that this would be a good thing to have and it's not like super high powered either it's just a nice like little flow thing and then next what I got I'm going to have to insert a picture right here because it is out like on my porch outside I don't I didn't bring it in it's 20 pounds it's the substrate that I'm getting for my tank I do have the picture though we will put it up on screen just let me like have a second to pull it up on Amazon by the way I do want to mention that everything I got here was on Amazon Prime except for the substrate it was the only thing that was on Amazon Prime but it did come really soon it came like maybe a day later than the Amazon Prime thing and I do want to mention too with the sand I did get two bags equaling of course 40 pounds so what i got here on screen it is the nature's ocean bioactive live sand and it, this is like and it technically it is called live aragonite sand it's by nature's ocean and it says no waiting just add fish but you still want to like cycle your tank it's definitely not just all instant cycling but the reason why i got live sand you may be like live sand what and i completely understand that so live sand is just basically sand that also has little living pieces of things that is like from the ocean and it has good nutrients and stuff in it and it helps your tank start to cycle and give those good nutrients up into the water so i think that it is really good to add living sand into your saltwater aquarium i think it helps and will be like really good to kickstart that cycling and all that kind of good stuff yeah and it says 100 percent natural from the ocean to you bioactive live aragonite reef band so that's what it is and that's what i got obviously two bags which is 40 pounds I am a weakling, not gonna bring it in here, but that's, that's the only reason why I didn't show it. I do have it though. The only thing that I don't have is a filter, and that is because I am always used to getting like better tanks that already come with a filter, and then this tank that we got for our saltwater aquarium actually didn't come with a filter. So that is something that I do have to buy. But other than that, that is everything that I do have so far. Once again, we have the heater right here. We have the hydrometer right here, and then we have the circulator mabobber majig right here and yeah that is it for this amazon saltwater fish tank haul i really hope you enjoyed it let me know down below if you have a saltwater tank and like what your favorite things that you have in your saltwater tank are i would truly love to know and or just leave me a comment in general whether it's emoji or you're letting me know how your day is because i would love to know and comments really help youtubers like me out it just tells the you the youtube algorithm that you guys like my videos and so that's very very helpful um but other than that i do want to say thank you to my patrons as always jeremy maddie davis mercy janae casey mel vicky and steven thank you guys from the bottom of my heart it truly means the world to me if you guys want to be a patron the link will be in the description box down below you guys get a lot of awesome perks and it helps me out a lot as well i can't wait to go through this saltwater fish tank journey with you guys i can't wait to actually have fish in the tank once it's ready literally so excited and yeah and i really hope you guys are too and before you leave please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave you can do that by hitting my face right up there and you can watch another one of my videos by clicking right over there we're almost at 10,000 subscribers and i'm like oh my god so excited we may even be there by the time this video is up i don't know but thank you guys so much i hope you guys have a great day or night or whenever you're watching this and i'll see you guys in my next video bye